Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's just go with the next seven days again and see what comes up, okay? So what do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for Taurus in the next seven days? What do we have for Taurus? Hmm, time to set new goals. So maybe you're setting new goals in these next seven days. Maybe you're doing it right now. So what do we have for Taurus? Let's get one more. Ooh. New sexual partner. You got, an, what? See what else we got. What else do we got for Taurus? You're setting new goals, but you got a new sexual partner? Hmm. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Fool, new beginning, starting a new journey. So it feels to me as though you have a new beginning here. This is quite exciting, right? Going, you know, taking a leap of faith. This is doing something on a whim. Could also be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. Um, but this is you starting a new journey, starting a new chapter of your life. So we got we got a new beginning here. This is very exciting. It's a new spiritual journey, right? Embarking on a new path. Have faith. Step forward in faith, all right? What do we have for Taurus? The next seven days? Doing something spontaneous? You're going to be doing something spontaneous in the next seven days, Taurus? Magician, the answer is probably yes. Looks like you're gonna be. <laughs> okay, so action, taking action. Ace of Swords reversed, Emperor reversed. So some of you are dealing with an Aries, could also be dealing with a Gemini, with the Magician card. So this is taking action to bring success, manifesting. Uh, there's been a lack of communication. There's been a lack of information coming through. Maybe you've been set in some sort of, uh, set in your ways in some way. I do believe there's gonna be a change in that, with that magician card. Emperor reversed is, well, it's right next to the Ace of Swords reversed. I wonder if you've been dealing with somebody that is not really communicating with you. That's no communication. That's a, that's a lack of, of thought or a lack of awakening or something to do with a father figure or a position a person in a position of authority I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that may have abused their power or something like that somebody may have deserted you they may have deserted you in your time of need there could be some manipulation here somebody may be trying to manipulate you this is in the past there's some, you know, via the silent treatment, no communication. You know, the magician is a card of manipulation. It is, but there's no communication here. Somebody that may be extremely controlling, you know, by, they may be you trying to manipulate you by not communicating with you, or somebody may not be telling you the truth. I mean, the Ace of Swords reversed is a uh, lack of communication and a lack of truth. But the magician, I believe, is like a communication card. So, no communication after there was communication, being deserted in your time of need, corrupt behavior, disorganized, but but I believe there's some sort of something coming back around. Q. 
King of Pentacles reversed, Page of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles reversed in your present. And what about your future? Judgment upright, Five of Pentacles. Four of Wands in your future. Commitment, happiness, getting together, reconciliation. Are you or giving somebody a chance? Somebody may be begging for a chance, and it it does it does it could maybe somebody from your past. I don't know. What about your person? What about your person? Um, mm. Knight of Swords reversed. Ten of Wands. Knight of Wands reversed. And Eight of Swords. Whew. You got somebody here that is really having a hard time right now. They are overwhelmed. They're trying to, they're carrying a lot of weight. They're carrying a heavy burden. They have a lot of responsibilities. They're stalling. They're they are it feels like their life may be out of control they may feel like they're out of control um they may be trapped in some sort of place they may be trapped in a situation that they can't break free from or they think they can't break free from it okay this person is holding on to something that is holding them down you know they're being held down maybe even by fear it's like this person is in no hurry they're in no hurry to take action because of fear oh, you're dealing with somebody that is extremely scared They're scared to take action. Maybe that's why they're not communicating. I feel like things have been disorganized for you. I think that things have been a little bit out of control, perhaps in your life as well. Maybe you've you've really been uh, working on creating yourself. You've been working on your spirituality. You've been working on um, manifesting. You've been feeling like you maybe you don't want to communicate with anybody i feel like you've really been focusing on yourself recently not really open to communicating and i feel like whoever that you're dealing with hasn't been communicating with you very much either um i feel like right now or very 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 soon you're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody this is it right here this is your offer or an invite I feel like I feel like you're you're feeling insecure about yourself you may be focusing on your health not really interested in working with anybody. It feels like you're not really interested in working with anybody. You know, you're not. You're, you're not. It feels like you're not interested in working with anybody because you're not grounded or you're working on your health. You're going in a new direction. You know, and it feels like there's there's you're also dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you. They may not respect your value. They may not respect your values. You may not be seeing eye to eye with somebody that that this person may be immature. They may be childish. You know, they may uh, fly by the seat of their pants and that may not be very practical to you. I feel like in the future, you are going to need to, I feel like you're going to be given an opportunity to open up to somebody. There's like a get together. Somebody may be inviting you somewhere. You may be, uh, somebody's, it's like there's, this is a chance to release. It's a chance to release your past. There's an, it's like there's unexpected help arriving. Somebody is coming. They're coming to help you. And I feel like... This is somebody that you are very familiar with. You may even have a past life connection with this person. It's a soulmate in your future. We have a judgment mirroring the four of wands. You could be getting together with somebody that is helping you in some way. And I'm not sure how this person is helping you. But I feel like there is somebody that is that is being uh, brought into your life to help you. Maybe it's to heal. Maybe it's to heal from some sort of neglect. I feel like you've been neglected in the past. Okay, with the emperor reverse, that is neglect. It is neglect. I don't know if it's by a father or somebody that is in a position of authority that has abused their power and 
you know, is very, very controlling. There's definitely somebody in your past that is very controlling that has tried to manipulate you in some way. But that is in your past. And I feel like your emotions have been all over the place. I do because we're the King of Pentacles reversed. That's that's ungrounded. I feel like you have been ungrounded. You may you may have your your feet like stuck in the ground, you know. You may be like, you know, I'm not budging. I'm not budging for any reason whatsoever. You know, but I do feel like you are going to be shocked because there is, I think there is somebody flying into your life. They are coming out of nowhere to help you break free from something. This is exactly what this is. It's either a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, this if this isn't a partnership, which I, I feel like it is, if it's not, it could be a job situation where you're working with people that you don't see eye to eye with. Get the three of pentacles reversed right now. It's like I, you don't see eye to eye with somebody. You may be dealing with somebody that isn't very practical. They're not very grounded. They're not very realistic. They're abusing you. They're using you for money. Now, I don't know how, or they're using you for your skills, but they don't respect you. I feel like there's somebody here that does not respect you. They do not respect your value. Values. And maybe maybe you're deciding to uh, release them because judgment is a card of release. Except, you know, and make a life-changing decision to uh, get together with somebody else. And I do think that's it. I think that you have you have you're going to be put in a position to, or somebody's going to give you an offer or an invite that is exciting, and you have to make a decision whether you want to get together with this person or you want to. You want to continue to uh, be not practical, you know, because there's not practical here. The King of Pentacles reverse is not practical. There is definitely somebody here that does not respect you at all. This person acts like a child. They may, they may just, you know, not... Maybe they don't feel like they're adequate. Maybe they don't feel like they're adequate for you and they, they make up for it by abusing their power or something like that. No communication, lack of communication. It's, it's like, there, or miscommunication or manipulative, emotional blackmail, some sort of blackmail, you know, or the silent treatment. You know, there's something going on here. It feels like there is somebody around you that is trying or they've tried to manipulate you in the past by not communicating with you i feel like this person is angry i feel like they're angry i feel like they're upset they're feel they're they're, they're upset that you are not communicating with them it feels like you're not communicating with them you're not working with them you're choosing not to work with them because it's not practical I mean, it's not practical. It's not, especially if there's a third party situation here. Three of Pentacles could be a third party situation. No, three's a crowd. Right? You are going to be receiving a message. Okay? You're going to be receiving a message from somebody that maybe didn't see your value or they didn't respect you or uh, something like that. Mm. Six of Swords reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. You're dealing with somebody that maybe doesn't want you to move on. They're trying to stop you from moving on. They're sad. There's their emotions all are all over the place. And I feel like your emotions are all over the place. I feel like you are feeling very troubled. And whoever you're dealing with is very troubled. They're very troubled over this loss of emotional content, you know, or this a loss, loss of emotional, loss of love, loss of love. You, somebody may even say to you something about love, you know, they may say something about that. I feel as though you're focused on your job, you're focused on your work, you're focused on your business, you're not, you're not open 
if you're single, if you're single, you're not open. It's like, you know what? I'm not looking for love. I'm focusing on my, my career. I'm focusing on my money. And boom, here it is. A new suitor bursts right into your world. Okay? This person is, is just bursts right into your world. You're not even looking for it. If you are in a coupled relationship, you may be dealing with somebody that is not really communicating effectively you're not seeing eye to eye with this person there's a lot it could be even an unrequited love situation with the ace of cups reverse there's a lack of emotional content here because there's some sort of disrespect and it's like there's no you don't see my value you don't see my worth you know you could be dealing with somebody that is very to you they may seem obnoxious you know, it's like you're, you're acting like a child. So I don't know how that resonates with you. In your future, I see judgment is a card of release, acceptance, making a life-changing decision. Next to the five of pentacles, I think there's somebody that, you know, is asking you or begging you for some sort of help. And you may have, it. they may have ignored you in the past or you ignored them. There's, it's like, this is somebody, this is like help, you know, it's like begging. It's like begging for help. So I feel, and this is like giving somebody a chance. You know, there could be a chance for reconciliation in the future with somebody. We also have marriage, commitment, happiness, getting together, having fun. You may be getting together with somebody that is going to be helping you or you're going to be helping them. You're going to be, I feel like you are going to be giving somebody a chance. This is somebody that either needs your help or you need their help. Whoever you're dealing with uh, is definitely try, going to be trying really, really hard to get your attention. They are. They're, they're, they may even show off. You may be dealing with somebody that shows off. They may be trying to show off to get your attention. And maybe you're, you're just not even seeing it, but they're going to try really, really. This is somebody that probably is... Uh, it's almost like they're going to... I feel like they're going to really do something crazy to get you to notice them. It's almost like, look at me, look at me. Now, I don't know where you're going to meet this person. At some sort of place, it feels, if you have not met this person already, you're going to meet this person at a, uh, it feels like it's a big building. It's a big, 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 big building where there's big windows. There's big windows if you haven't met this person yet. Starting a new journey. Starting a new chapter of your life. Leaving somebody behind that deserted, that deserted you. Somebody deserted you in your time of need. They were dishonest. They were cold. They were, they were not using their heart. They were more uh, focused on social pressure there's somebody that has deserted you and i feel like you have been having a hard time mastering your emotions because of this person ace of cups reverse that's not mastering emotions that's drowning in emotions and i feel like you've been unstable but I, and i feel like you've you've lost sight of your goal but i see this new drive this new desire okay new desire to go in a new direction and i feel like you're choosing not to work with somebody with that three of pentacles reverse it's like nope Nope, I don't, I don't need this trouble. I don't need this trouble in my life. I don't need an unrequited love situation. I don't need to work with somebody that doesn't respect me. I feel like you're totally making a decision to go in a new direction. And you are. You are going in a new direction. You're setting new goals. And I feel like there's somebody that is about to burst into your world that is probably very well suited for you. And I feel like you're not even looking for it. You're not even looking for it. Now, if you're in a coupled relationship, you know, there could be a fight. I'm just being honest. We got the Knight of Swords reverse, the Knight of Wands reverse. That's a kind of aggressive behavior. You could be dealing with somebody. That's why I said obnoxious or showing off. Whether you're single or, or in a relationship now, there is a show off here. There is somebody that is showing off. And it feels like you are... 
you may not you may not even want to look at this person because you see them as a show off but they're not going to stop until you notice them they are going to make sure that you notice them Somebody may say, can, maybe saying to you, can you just please give me a chance? Can you please give me a chance? I mean, that's what this is. Can you please give me a chance? Forgive me or, you know, just give me a chance. Somebody's probably going to ask for a chance, you know. This is somebody that, uh, I don't know, could have something to do with marriage in the future. It could lead to marriage. Could be a Scorpio, could be a Scorp Scorpio, could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have, we have Aries three times, four times. We have Scorpio, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Gemini. There is somebody that hasn't, I, you know, this person hasn't been communicating with you well. Or maybe you don't even know, know this person yet, but I feel like you have some sort of past connection with this person. Whether it's a past life connection or what, this is definitely a past connection. There's going to be some, an increase of movement. Things are going to speed up. This could be increased communication or a lot of messages going back and forth. This is also the rods of love. It's like being hit. You know, okay? It's like being hit with, with some sort of... Uh, Oh, it's passion. It is passion. New beginnings. Messages. A lot of messages. Somebody is really going to be pursuing you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Expect the unexpected. King of Cups reversed. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody that has uh, a lot of emotions. Okay, they they usually they can hide their emotions. They can hide their feelings. I feel like we have somebody here that has been repressing their feelings. That is going to be uh, communicating with you. They're going to be communicating with you. They're going to be opening their heart to you. They can't stop their, their it's like they can't stop their feelings. They can't stop their feelings. This person may have neglected you or abandoned you in the past. And this could be a past life connection, okay? If you don't know this person yet, yeah, the judgment is a past. It's a past life as well. There could be a reconciliation here with somebody that uh, abandoned you, ne neglected you, left you out in the cold. They tried to punish you with no communication, manipulate you. You could also be attending a get-together, okay? You could be attending a get-together where you uh, come together with somebody from your past. You know, you just, you run into this person. Could, this could be a party. It could be a funeral. It could be a marriage. You know, you may, you may uh, or whatever it is. I feel like you're going to be communicating with somebody. You're going to be communicating with somebody from your past. However that resonates with you. This is somebody that is uh, has a hard time expressing their feelings, a very hard time expressing their feelings. 
I also feel like you're going to receive some very emotional news. I'm not sure if it has to do with a, a child or a father or a partner that has abandoned you. I feel like you're reluctant to open your heart. The Six of Swords reversed next to the Ace of Cups reversed. That's reluctant. I'm, I'm not. But this is, this is an opportunity that is being suddenly, with the Page of Wands, it's like a sudden opportunity that's being presented to you. And it's like you're being called to give it a chance. You need to step outside of your fear. This person, whoever is coming in, probably knows that you are guarded. Ah, hurt, pain, heartache, three of swords. Whoever is coming in does know that you're hurt. They know, they know that your heart has been broken. This is some sort of a pain, heart pain. Time to talk. It's time to talk. It's heartbreaking. It's time to talk. Let's talk about this. Whatever is going on, I believe that you are... It's a shock. This is a shock. It is a surprise. You're about to embark on a new journey. You are. That's the fool. That's starting over. It's a new chapter. Beginning a new chapter of your life. Setting new goals. Receiving an offer from somebody that is well suited for you. I mean, I can't. I mean, that is the page. Right in the middle. The very middle card is the page of wands. That is an exciting offer, invite, opportunity to start over fresh, to start fresh, to go in a new direction. This is somebody bursting into your world suddenly. When you're not even emotionally available for it, it's like and your emotions are all over, all over the place. You're not grounded at all at this moment. I mean, the, page, the King of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Cups reversed. That's not grounded. That's drowning in emotions. And all of a sudden, with the Page of Wands, all of a sudden, you know, you're in this situation. Where there's somebody that wants you to give them a chance. And I feel like this is somebody that has... I don't know if this is somebody, it's obviously somebody from your past. And I'm, I'm going to reiterate, it could be a past life connection or somebody that you have a deep spiritual connection with. There's, there's going to be a lot of messages, a lot of messages going back and forth with this person. Major completion of a cycle. This is ending one cycle and beginning a new cycle. So you are about to begin a new cycle in your life. I feel this, whatever this new cycle it is, leads to marriage and commitment. Because that four of wands is in the future. That is marriage, commitment. You need to let go of the past. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. I feel like there is somebody here that can help you to heal from your broken heart. They know that you're, it almost feels like they know that you're hurt. So I feel like this week that you are probably going to be giving somebody a chance that you are reluctant to do. You're reluctant to give them a chance. I don't know how that resonates with you, but good luck with that new sexual partner. Good luck.